Digital ID cards already exist in dozens of European countries and over the years there's been repeated failed attempts by governments to bring them in here. But with Keir Starmer under pressure to act on illegal migration, today he announced plans to bring in compulsory digital ID cards, which he says will make it tougher to work in the UK illegally and make our borders more secure. But opposition parties argue that this will do very little to stop the small boats crisis and the SNP and Scottish Government has said that they are opposed to any kind of compulsory card. So if these were brought in, what exactly would they look like? Well, we found out today that it will likely be in the form of an app on our smartphone, much like we store boarding passes. It could also display details like our photo, name, your date of birth and your employment status. The cards will be free and there will be no requirement for people to either carry their ID or be asked to produce it. No, I don't see any issues with that. It's information that's there, the banks use it, I don't see any difference and to be honest as long as they're not inventing the wheel then I'm fine with it. I think it's a good idea because it stops too many people coming into the country or leaving the country or actually who could be criminals. There is this sort of overarching slightly big brother-esque concern isn't there about people being aware of who you are and where you are details we're still waiting on is exactly how much this policy is expected to cost and when it would be enforced. A consultation is expected to last three months with legislation being introduced to Parliament early next year. Laura Alderman, STV News, Edinburgh.